Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So this is another what I eat in a school week as a flexitarian. So what that means is that I pretty much eat everything but focus more on having plant-based meals and I also don't eat red meat. At this point of my life I cannot see myself being vegan however I do love having vegan meals every now and then and just experimenting with vegetarian options too. Unlike my last what I eat in a school week this week I have filmed absolutely everything that I eat for school, after school, during school. I hope you will find it interesting. Maybe you guys will find some recipes that you want to try out and let's just get straight into it. recess on day one I made myself some yogurt of course I just put some Yopro yogurt which is my favorite in a container you probably hear me say this like all the time now then I laid it with some chia pudding so you just put some chia seeds in a cup let it soak for five to ten minutes or you can do it the night before and that just gives it a nice source of fiber and healthy fat and then I topped it with strawberries pumpkin seeds and some inca berries they're like really sour but I like them and then I topped it with some just sour bought granola because I haven't made any in a while. I haven't had time. And then for lunch, I just had some leftover pasta with veggies and, and beans and stuff. In my little lunch box, I put in a banana with them things. So for breakfast, I made some French toast. So for this, I just put two eggs in a little bowl and whisk them together. And then I dip in some wholemeal seedy bread um, and chuck it on the pan. And then also because that morning I did a workout before, um, I wanted something more filling rather than just like eggs and bread. So I also had a protein smoothie too. So I added in some frozen berries, cauliflower, which is a little sneaky way of getting in some veggies. Um, and you don't taste it at all. And then I added in some protein powder, which is Botanica Blends, a brand I use and love. Um, some peanut butter, almond milk, and just some ice, and then blended it all together. And then by the time that was all done, my eggs were cooked. And so I just topped them today with salt and pepper. I wanted to keep it plain and simple. And that was my breakfast for day one. After school, I was in a bit of a rush. I do not remember what I was doing, but I just grabbed a paleo bar, which only has like six ingredients and it's really natural and high in protein. This is a week where you'll probably see me having quite a few of them because we brought them in bulk from catch of the day I think it was so you get like 30 or something in a pack they were just like easy because when I filmed this, it was my first week back at school and it was just a bit crazy I didn't really remember how to manage myself and cook snacks so you'll see them quite a lot but often I normally make heaps of healthy banana bread and bliss balls and stuff but this week it was just all about time saving um and then for dinner I had a salad with some veggie patties avocado beetroot beans all of that goodness um, after dinner, I made myself the Magic Mushroom Hot Chocolate by Botanica Blends. Doesn't taste like a mushroom, it is so nice. I'm literally obsessed with it. Okay, day two for lunch. I just whipped up a veggie burger, which you might have seen in my back to school recipe video. For recess, I just had an apple, a protein bar, and a banana as well. And then I made some pancakes this morning, protein pancakes, of course, because I just finished another workout. All of that week, I did workouts at six o'clock. So in my little cup thing, I put in a banana, just a handful of oats, some almond milk, and an egg with protein powder. And then I used my blendy stick to blend it all up. That is the hack to making them three ingredient protein pancakes work. You need to make sure everything's blended together properly. Otherwise, it will not work. I learnt the hard way many times and then I just poured it onto the pan and let them cook. These ones turned out actually really good. I just topped it with some peanut butter. I used the hemp peanut butter this week. 
um, and then some freshly cut up strawberries. I tried to make it look pretty, but it wasn't working today. And um, some pumpkin seeds and granola. As you may know, I went to a naturopath recently and I got this herbal medicine for my skin, which is doing wonders already. And so I just take 7.5 mils of that every morning and night with a bit of water. It tastes disgusting, but we gotta do it. And then after school, mum brought these vegan muffin mix things from Audi or something. And to be honest, they weren't that bad, but they weren't the best. But normally I'd like make muffins and stuff after school. As I said, this week was just all about the easy, accessible foods. I had a few of them, went for my bike ride and stuff. When I came home, um, I cooked up some salmon on the pan and seasoned it with some herbs and stuff. And I also um, cooked up some veggies too and added it with black rice, which I cooked on the weekend. And that was my dinner, just like a little stir fry sort of thing. And then again, I had that mush, um, magic mushroom thing. And then I went for a drive to the server with my sister and I got some five ingredient like snack balls. Then for breakfast the next day, I made some baked oatmeal. As you've seen, I've become quite obsessed with this. Um, so all I do is add a half cup of oats, some chia seeds into a little pan thing that can be put in the oven. And then I added in some cinnamon for flavor and quinoa, puff quinoa for some protein. Chucked it in the oven with some almond milk until for about half an hour while I was doing my workout. And then for lunch, I made a toasty with avocado that was so not ripe that it was so hard to even like mash. Then I topped it with some spinach and capsicum and some roast turkey. Chucked it in my little toasty machine. And for recess, I made the similar thing to Monday's recess, which was like yogurt, chia pudding and granola and stuff. It just looked more fancy in a jar. And with my toasty for lunch, I added some chopped carrot, chopped cucumber and then beetroot hummus. Just a cute little combination and I thought it looked quite professional. And I also had one of them muffins as well with my recess. That morning I made a herbal tea and had that with um, my baked oatmeal and I served that with some almond milk. Then we had another protein bar and for dinner that night I cooked up some pasta. So I started off by cutting up heaps of veggies. I was really craving some veggies that night, as you can see, lots of broccoli. And just steamed them while I cooked up my pasta. I used the San Remo Pulse Pasta. It's got chickpeas and two other types of beans. Um, just because that gives it more protein and more substance rather than just having plain carbs. Um, and also it's a great source of fiber. And then for the meat to that one, I cooked up some turkey mince. I haven't actually had that in a while, so it was just something different. Also ate a banana while I was cooking my dinner because I think I came back from another bike ride um, and then I just added in whatever pasta sauce we had in the fridge once everything was all cooked I added in a little bit of turkey mince some spinach and then had half for dinner put half of the pasta away for lunch the next day and then for a snack that night I just made a little smoothie with banana frozen cauliflower frozen mixed berries almond milk and some water and then again, some chocolate protein powder. Absolutely love it. I blended that up and made a little smoothie bowl with coconut, granola, seeds, and goji berries and stuff. It was like just so nice and refreshing a little snack. That night I made a herbal tea by this new brand. And honestly, I don't think I like it. It's very spicy and minty, but it's meant to detoxify your body as they say, even though that's not really true. For the next day, um, for recess, I had some cut up veggies and beetroot hummus again. Um, I had the leftover pasta for lunch and then also chucked in another paleo bar. And then, and then for my breakfast, I had one of them hot chocolate mushroom drinks again, and then a smoothie bowl with just pretty similar to all the other ones I've shown in this video, because that's my go-to. All right, that night for dinner, I just got some um, salmon and avocado sushi, which is my absolute favorite. I feel like sushi is quite a healthy takeaway option when you're in a rush and it's also so cheap. It's only like $3 for a piece. And then for like an after school snack thing too, I whipped up this chia pudding 
layered thing. The first bit of chia pudding was just plain with almond milk. And then I separated half of that and added some protein powder in there too. And then I just layered it with fruit, coconut, nuts and stuff. And it was really nice and like different for a snack. And then I finished off my night with a raspberry remedy kombucha. And then a waffle using the Kodiak, Kodiak cake waffle mix and I just add some cinnamon in there for a little bit of flavor and then some water that's all you need to do to it and then I just chuck it in my waffle machine sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't today we were lucky and it did so for lunch again I cut up heaps and heaps of veggies to have with my dip just because this week I was really just feeling like vegetables especially fresh ones, not steamed, because I feel like that's all I've been having lately. So I cut up some cucumber, carrot, and capsicum. They're just my go-to. We were out of like crackers or just some sort of other thing to have with it. So I used mum's light and easy crackers because she's doing that this week. Banana with that one too, just a little small one and it was green and gross. And then for breakfast that morning, I had some overnight oats, which I cooked the night before, or not cooked, but I made the night before. Just by putting in half a cup of oats and some chia seeds in a container with almond milk, letting it sit in the fridge overnight, and then it's really nice and thick and cold in the morning. For more flavor and protein, I added in some protein powder. Then for lunch, using one of mum's light and easy meals, I just made a wrap with turkey and like all these different mixed salads and avocado and stuff. Then for an after school snack, I had two of these quinoa crisp breads with avocado. And then for dinner, I cooked up some chicken with herbs and veggies and halloumi cheese. Love halloumi cheese. Um, and then I kind of just made like a little salad bowl with that. Nothing too schmancy fancy. Alright, and then we come to um, the weekend. So Saturday was a bit all over the shop because I was filming the TikTok recipe video. So kind of what I ate in the day was all of these different TikTok recipes. So I had that whipped coffee. Um, I had this egg sandwich thing, which is where I cooked two eggs and two pieces of toast. Like flipped it over with some spinach, made a sandwich out of that. Somehow it was actually really nice. I had a smoothie bowl too, similar again to the ones in this video, but I added some more like frozen banana and cauliflower to make it thicker. I had these yogurt bites with just chopped up banana and Yopro yogurt dipped in that. Then I also had some corn chips made out of wraps and then just some like paprika. And I had that with avocado too. It was just like a really random snacky day. And for dinner that night too, I think I had sushi as well, but I didn't film it. For some reason because I don't think I brought my phone with me. Then I had a herbal tea and toast with avocado and salt and pepper. And then for Mother's Day which was Sunday. It was such a crazy busy day. So for breakfast I had my toast with egg, spinach and avocado in the car. Very nice. Um, I had snacked on some fruit throughout the day. For lunch. What happened to lunch that day? I don't know. It was just such a busy day. I can't even remember. Don't remember what I did for lunch that day. So I didn't Somehow, I don't know where that video's gone. Um, and then for dinner, we got takeaway. I got some satay chicken skewers. And they were average. And then I got this, like, tofu salad bowl, which was honestly not that fabulous. I couldn't really eat it because it was wet in sauce. And then for dessert, I had another waffle with the Kodiak cake mix and so that wraps up this video i hope you enjoyed and found it interesting seeing what i eat in a week i didn't put this video out there to say that this is what you guys should be eating i'm just sharing what i'm eating in case you want some recipe ideas or you want to see how i balance my meals throughout the day so yeah if you guys enjoyed please do give it a like and subscribe all that jazz and i'll see you in my next video